Can I have some suggestions for answers? Um, 1A. Someone give me a number. 11. Um, 11. 11? 11 what? Centimeters. Okay, 11 centimeters. I'll, I'll put it here. Uh, where does this 11 centimeters come from? Okay, so you see these dashes, right? And there's a pair of them on each, meaning, okay, those two are both going to be four centimeters. So you just did four plus four plus three. So you would have converted that to three centimeters. Now, it doesn't matter whether you provided this answer in centimeters, like this, or in millimeters, like that. Doesn't matter. No. There's nothing in the question that tells you I need this amount of accuracy or this particular kind of units. And 11 centimeters really is 110 millimeters. So in this context, no reason why you can't just do either one of those. So thumbs up. Uh, part B. Now I'm going to um, get you to give me an answer and then I'm going to actually get you to do some working with me on this question because it's interesting. Has someone got a perimeter for me? 92. 92 meters. 92? Okay, sounds like we've got agreement. Okay. Now something I want to point out is that you can see here I don't know if you actually noticed. This is this is from a book, but I, I wrote this in. I wrote this in. Okay. Now, had it not been, I just sort of needed that number in there. Had it not been written in for you, you actually do know if you think back a couple of years. Yeah, you know Pythagoras' theorem, so you can actually work out this edge without me telling you. Okay. Now let's just rehearse because we haven't looked at this really well. How do we go about doing this in a right angled triangle? What information will you need to know? Like, this, let's just suppose I don't know that yet. Okay. What am I going to have to do? Yeah, Maddie? It's plus B squared C Okay. Very good. So, the words for this are, like this is our nice boiled down way of saying it, but the sum of the squares, sum of the two squares of the shorter sides in a right angle triangle is, this, is equal to the square of the, what do we call it again? The hypotenuse, that long one, yeah? So, what are the shorter sides? Shh, shh, shh. 10 and 20. You've got the 10 here because, again, the same two lines. Um, you've got the 20 here because there's single dashes there. So, up here, and I'd love you all to write this with me if you did not. I mean, you didn't need to because I gave you the 22. So, I'd love you to write with me uh, 10 squared plus tw 20 squared equals C squared, right? Um, that's 100 plus 400. So C squared equals 500, but that's kind of an icky number. You've got a calculator that can work out what C is for you. If you press the square root button, you should get, can someone tell me? How many decimal places? 22. Give me two or three. 22.36067977. Cool. All right, I'll stop it. <laughs> and you can see where I got the number from, right? Now, why do you think I, when I actually did provide it to you, why do you think I rounded it to that level? Because the other two are the one. Correct. So I've got, I'm kind of going with, yeah, I think this is the accuracy you've got. Uh, and so therefore, nearest meter seems reasonable. Okay. By the way, I should point out, actually looking at these, I don't really know that it's the nearest meter. Do I? No. I don't actually, because those zeros, the one zero and the two zero, where could those zeros have come from? Not just measurement. They could have come from... Rounding, right? Like an approximation. So this, without this, it could have been to the nearest 10 meter. But I thought it would be a bit awkward to call this 20 and that 20. That seemed yeah. a bit funky. So that's why I just went to the nearest one. Um, but that gave you the 92. Okay, can we just answer this last bit? Um, greatest possible error. What did you have for this one? 1.5 centimeters. Okay, again, can we dissect where does that number come from? Is there three measurements? Okay, yeah, number, number one, there are three measurements, three times we're taking this, so I'm going to work out my error, I'm going to triple it. How did we know that the error was 0 0.5 centimeters for each one? Up or down, but why, why 0 0.5? Why not like 0 0.1 or 0 0.05? How did you know? Yeah, you look carefully at what accuracy is given to you, and then you say it's half of the limit of reading, okay? And even though it says 30 millimeters, you're like, ooh, it's in millimeters, but it's 30. So that zero could have come from rounding, right? So three lots of half centimeter, perfect. How about this one? Hmm. So again, we look at the limit of reading, which is a meter, okay? We halve that, which gives us 0 0.5. And you look at how many times you use that measurement. One, two, three, four, five, it's a bit interesting that it's five, right? Uh, so this is A. Bless you. <laughs> we, we didn't have an equivalent word to use, so that, that was perfect. Um, 
it's a bit interesting that it's 2.5 because what kind of shape, how would you, what, what name would you give to this shape? Pentagon. Um, sorry, I meant, I meant the whole shape, the whole perimeter. How many sides does this thing have? A pentagon. I count, just be careful, right? I count one, two, three, four sides. So it's a quadrilateral of a specific kind. You were right. It's a, it's a trapezium, okay? Now, shh, 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 this is really important. This is, it's a, I'm really glad we noticed this. There are four sides. There are four sides. But in order to get the length of this one, right, you use this one measurement twice. Do you notice that? Right? So if there was an error here, well, it's going to get doubled when we take it out all the way to the end. So that's why the error comes in five times, not four, even though it's a quadrilateral. Okay?